Hey everyone, it's Nate from Grower's House, and today we got a new LED unit in stock. Um, Grower's House is now carrying Black Dog LEDs, so we have their complete line on our website, and we decided we'd bring in their biggest unit, the Platinum XL, um, which is actually their 750 watt LED unit. And that 750 watts is not what the diodes are times the wattage of the diode. Uh, it's actually the draw from the wall. So this unit actually has 300 distinct 5 watt diodes. So if we thought about it that way, um, you know, maybe you'd call it a 1500 watt LED. But really, out of the wall, this one will be pulling 750 watts. And this guy is a pretty big LED. You'll notice that this one is actually about 20 inches square. And then if I bend it down this way, you'll see that it's about 5 inches high. So this 5 inch depth is pretty large you'll notice and Black Dog actually really wanted to have a really large housing so that they could fit in really large heat sinks and fans to have amazing cooling capabilities. So this unit stays very cool as compared to some of the other LEDs on the market and that is a great feature for those growers looking to keep their environment cool switching away from HID lights or any other light source that generates a lot of heat. So um, another interesting thing about Black Dog LEDs is they actually use 16 different unique colors in their LEDs and they keep that a secret exactly which nanometers or color wavelengths they use because um, they've spent a lot of time honing it in to really match the curve, uh, the photosynthetic curve that uh, you see on PAR charts, uh, photosynthetically active radiation charts where plants really use light most at specific colors. And another unique thing about this light is that they actually have UVA and infrared um, LED diodes to help you plant out in the late flowering phase, which um, I don't know of any other light that actually has them in the diodes. Um, like for example, California Lightworks has the, the UVB bulbs um, on the side, but um, this one is the one that has the actual diodes where uh, when you turn them on you'll almost it'll almost look like the diodes aren't on there'll be a very faint light it almost looks like the diodes are out but that's not true it's just that IR and UVA are basically out of the visible spectrum for human eyesight so if you get this unit you, your diodes are probably not out they uh, are probably just the specific diodes focusing on those spectrums so I mean, other than that, this unit is pretty hefty. I mean, we're talking, uh, look at this guy over here, is about 47 pounds. So, um, still light enough to be held by basically every tent on the market. But, I mean, with the construction the way it is, I mean, this is all metal. It feels really tough, pretty heavy duty. It has nice carabiners on the top so that, um, you know, it can hold its weight. And uh, what I also want to do is turn it on very quickly so that you guys can take a look at what this panel looks like. And you'll see um, they actually designed it to be this large so that the unit can really have a lot of coverage. Um, rather than have a lot of the diodes focused in a small area, they were attempting to have more uniform coverage over a larger area. For example, this light can do about four feet or four and a half feet by four and a half feet in flowering, and that's a maximum, and then a seven feet by seven feet for veg maximum. Um, so let me turn this guy on so we can take a look at um, some of these diodes on here and just turn on the switch here. Ooh, now that is very bright. Um, hopefully the camera can focus in on this for a second. Um, I'll also turn it sideways a little bit and bend the light down. But um, you can see that the spectral makeup is very different throughout the entire unit. Um, you have reds, blues, whites. Um, basically everything you'd expect out of an LED and that would want. Um, so if I move this down a little bit, maybe you can see how it changes. Don't want to drop it. So um, another thing I want to mention is that this unit um, actually comes with a three-year warranty and Black Dog is based out of Colorado and they have a limited lifetime warranty and that limited lifetime warranty is Really, it's um, after the three years, if any parts need to be changed out on this, all you have to do is pay for the replacement cost of the part. Black Dog will install it for you for free um, for the labor. And um, 
you know, that actually leaves you with a company that's based in the U.S. that'll probably like stand by your unit um, for the life of them. And they've been around for quite a long time. I'm going to turn this light off now. You had a good look at it. Yeah, they've been around for quite a long time, going on five years now. So they are one of the oldest companies in the LED market. And they just came out, by the way, in October um, of 2012 with their new Universal Series lights, which this is one of them, where they moved all of their old units from 3-watt diodes to 5-watt diodes. So all Black Dog units starting about four months ago, October 2012, are now using 5 watt diodes and a more enhanced spectrum. So um, these lights um, starting out, if you're going to get a black dog, look for the Universal Series lights and they have them going from uh, the BD Micro being the smallest unit um, all the way through you know quite a few different wattage ranges to the Platinum being the largest unit. So now that we've gone over this unit, what we want to do is hang it over um, a nice four foot by four foot area, take some par readings, and uh, see what kind of numbers we get out of this unit. And one quick note that I will that I'll make before we run the test is that, you know, some of the diodes in here are focused on spectrums outside of the range that par measures. So um, we're interested to see and in, to see what kind of par readings this gives off, but realize that our par meter isn't measuring. Um, a specific, uh, specific spectral ranges that some of this, some of these diodes are giving off. So we have to take that into account. And I just want to make sure that you guys are all aware of that when you see the part charts that we end up doing here in a second. So let's get started. Okay, so here are the spectral readings for the Black Dog Platinum XL Universal Series 750 watt LED um, hung above a 4 foot by 4 foot growing area and we measured it at 12 inches above this 4 foot by 4 foot, uh, 18 inches and we also finally did it at 24 inches above the area. And then we measure, measured it each square working out from the center so 1 foot square, 2 foot square, 3 foot square and the 4 foot square and then took PAR readings at um, multiple different spaces, making up 31 readings per footprint. So if you want to see these readings and more, um, click on the link in the description below, and that'll take you to our blog where you can click on these readings, enlarge them, view them in the infographic, and um, see how this light compares to other LEDs in the market. And that's it for today. It's Nate from Grower's House. Take care.